everyone my name is Tejas and welcome to my channel self study with Tejas today we are going to learn chapter number 3 and so class 6 separation of substances so let's start the three separation of substances first question which of the following statements are incorrect so first uh, statement larger solar part, uh, solid particles can be separated from smaller ones by filtration so this is incorrect because larger solid particles can be separated from smaller ones by sieving so now second statement cream can be separated from milk by centrifugation so this is correct third statement a mixture of mud and water can be separated by loading sedimentation and decantation so this is also correct now our last statement grains can be separated from husk by threshing so this is incorrect because grain can be separated from husk by winnowing so we have asked here the incorrect statement which are first and fourth so the correct answer will be option number d so now second question select the incorrect match so a the solid that settles down when a heterogeneous solid liquid mixture is allowed to stand so this is incorrect uh, and here it is written as filtrate so this is incorrect because the solid that settles down when a heterogeneous solid liquid mixture is allowed to stand is known as sediment so the correct answer will be here option number a so third question observe the given figures carefully so in process x it is written as threshing and process y is winnowing and now we have to identify here x and y respectively so we have said that protect uh, pro ye yeah, process x was crushing and process y was winnowing means our correct answer is option number d now fourth question match column 1 with column 2 and select the correct option from the given codes so column 1 chalk powder and water mixture so chalk powder is solid whereas water is liquid means it is a heterogeneous solid liquid mixture means p will go to 4 so p4 is uh, here means our correct answer is d but still we will read all of the options so here q glucose solution so it is also a solid liquid mixture but it is a homogeneous solid liquid mixture means q will go to 3 now r fizzy drink so fizzy drink is a fizzy drink is a, a gas liquid mixture and smoke is a gaseous mix uh, sorry a smoke is a solid gas mixture and now uh, last one air is a gaseous mixture so the correct answer will be option number d now fifth question shobha took uh, shobha took two liquids x and y and separated them with the help of separating funnel as shown in the given figure so we know here that x is lighter than so liquid x is lighter than liquid y because it is floating on it so liquid x and y could be respectively a coconut oil and water so this is correct because coconut oil is less, uh, lighter than water uh, so our correct option can be this but here it is written all of these so now we need to check whether b or c option is correct or not so diesel and water so this is also correct because water is more denser than diesel so water and mercury so this is also correct because mercury is more denser than water so our correct answer will be d all of these question study the given flow chart carefully so here is a mixture of p q and r and when it goes through filtration Uh, r is removed means it could be sawdust so r is at the last so here it is sawdust and in option a there is sawdust now after filtration there is the solution of p plus q and when uh, it is evaporated only p is remaining in solid condition means it could be sugar and q could be water so the correct answer will be option number c now seventh question read the given statements carefully and select the correct option so here our statement 1 a mixture of kerosene and water can be separated by using a separating funnel 
So this is a true statement. Now second statement, a separating funnel is used to separate two miscible liquids. So this is incorrect because separating funnel is used to separate two immiscible liquids. So means statement 1 is true but statement 2 is false. So the correct answer will be option number C. So 8th question, Tina was given a mixture of naphthalene powder, iron nails, sand and salt. Which of the following sets, uh, set of techniques is used to separate all the components of this mixture? So, here uh, first we are having iron nails which can be separated by using magnetic separation because they are magnetic. Now, uh, next is naphthalene balls. So, naphthalene na powder. So, naphthalene uh, powder can be separated by using the process known as sublimation. And now sand and Salt. So, this uh, both can be removed by using uh, water. So, first for removing sand, we will use filtration and, uh, we and we have to now remove the salt and water for which we can use evaporation. So, correct answer will be option number A. And question, select the correct statement from the following. A. A solution is said to be saturated. If it has more amount of solute than normally possible. So this is incorrect because a solution is said to be super saturated. If it has more amount of solute than normally possible. So this is incorrect. Now B. In a separating funnel, the lighter liquid forms the top layer while the heavier liquid forms the bottom layer. So this is a correct statement means our correct answer will be option number B. But still we will read all of the options. So see, centrifugation method is used to separate sugar from sugar solution. So this is also incorrect because centrifugation is used to separate cream from milk. And now the last option, option number D, winnowing is used to separate grain from stocks. So this is incorrect because winnowing is used to separate uh, grains from husk. So the correct answer will be option number B. So 10th question, a mixture of sawdust and iron fillings can be separated by magnetic separation because of. So it is because of the magnetic nature of iron fillings. So the correct answer will be option number C. So 11th question, read the given passage and fill in the blanks by selecting the correct option. So dash is used to separate bran from floor due to the difference in dash of particles. So sieving is used to separate bran from floor due to the difference of uh, difference in their sizes of particles. So means our first and second is sieving and sizes respectively. So means our correct uh, uh, option can be from A or D. Now next one. A dash is used to separate a mixture of two immiscible liquids. So for that process we used separating funnel means our correct answer is option number A but we will read all of the blanks. And now like dash and water. So coconut oil is a correct answer because it is also a miscible liquid. So the correct answer will be option number A. Twelfth question. Observe the given figures and select the correct statement. So method 1. So this is hand picking which is used to separate solids. Uh, which are different in size, color and shape. So here in the options, method 1 is used to separate salt from uh, camphor powder. So this is incorrect. And see, method 1 is used to separate bran from floor. So this is also incorrect because for separating bran from floor, we use sieving. Now here, this is the uh, graph of filtration and this is known as method 2. So here method 2 is used to separate tea from uh, leaves of tea. So this is uh, correct. And now uh, so our correct answer will be option number B. But still we will read uh, the D option also. So D option method 2 is used to separate petrol from water. So this is incorrect because to separate petrol from water we use separating funnel. So 13th question, Radha has made the following table for separation of components of the given mixtures. So first one, stock plus grains, 
separation method winnowing so this is incorrect because to separate stock from grains we use threshing now second one stone plus pulses and separation method evaporation so this is also incorrect because to separate stones from pulses we use hand picking now third one fat plus milk centrifugation so this is correct means our correct answer will be option number b so 14 question identify w x y and z from the given information w the solid particles that settle down at bottom during sedimentation so this is known as a sed uh, sediment so x the process of changing water into its vapor so this is known as evaporation so our correct answer will be our option number a but still we will read all so why it is a method used to separate lighter components of a mixture from the heavier ones by blowing air so this is known as winnowing now z the process by which pebbles and stones are removed from sand so this is known as sieving so correct answer will be option number a 15th question which of the following methods of separation is based on the difference in weights of particles so a hand picking b winnowing c threshing or d evaporation so our correct answer here is option number b winnowing because it is a method used to separate lighter components of a mixture from the heavier ones by blowing air section 16th question study the given flow chart and identify the process p q r and s carried out in the given sequence for separation of the mixture so iron filling plus sand plus, uh, sorry uh, iron filling plus salt plus sand plus camphor so uh, we separate this by using uh, so we are separating here camphor by using a uh, uh, process known as p so p could be sublimation so here it is sublimation now we have to separate iron fillings for which we can use magnetic separation because iron is magnetic so here in the q process there is magnetic now in r we have to here add water and separate sand for which we will use filtration and now filtrate salt so for uh, separating salt we need to use evaporation so means our correct answer is here option number a question properties of three solid substances x y and z are given below x heavy and non magnetic y light and non magnetic or z magnetic if x y and z are of same size and color then which of the following can be used to separate these particles from their mixture so here it is magnetic means we need to use magnetic separation and for heavy and light substances we will use a uh, uh, winnowing means our correct answer will be option number b magnetic separation followed by winnowing the question the table uh, below shows the properties of four substances k l m and n so here we are having the substances and we have to find which two substances would be most difficult to separate when mixed together in water so we know that uh, the substances that are dissolved in water are the most difficult to remove back uh, sorry separate so here uh, substance k and m are dissolved in water means they will be the most uh, difficult to separate so our correct answer will be our b k and m so 19th question a few mixtures are listed in the box first mustard oil and water which are separated using separating funnel second one pebbles and rice which are separated using hand picking third one salt and water which are separated using evaporation fourth husk and grains which are separated using winnowing fifth one bran and flour which are separated using sieving and sixth one sand and water which are separated using uh, uh, filtration and now uh, select the incorrect statement from the following so first one mixture 3 and 4 which are salt and water and husk and grains are separate uh, sorry six means sand and water are separated by filtration so sand and water is separated by filtration but salt and water 
are so separated by evaporation means first one is wrong now second one mixture one which is uh, mustard oil and water is separated into its components by evaporation so this is incorrect because mustard oil and water are separated by using separating funnel so this is also wrong now third mixtures a uh, two and a uh, uh, four so which are pebbles and rice and husk and grains are separated into their respective components by hand picking so this is incorrect because pebbles and rice are uh, able to separate by hand picking but husk and grains are separated by winnowing so this is also incorrect now fourth mixture 5 uh, which is bran and flour is separated into its components via sieving so this is correct statement means our incorrect are first second and third only so correct answer will be option number a Candid question. Students of class six gave the following statements during a class discussion on the topic separation of substances. So, Anvita, iron fillings can be separated from sand via sublimation. So, this is incorrect because iron fillings can be separated from sand via magnetic sub, uh, separation. So, Anvita is wrong. Now, Komal, stones can be separated from sand via sieving. So, this is a correct statement. Now, Tushar. Grains can be separated from stalks via uh, by winnowing. So this is incorrect because grain can be separated from stalks by threshing. So Tusha is also wrong here. And Ravi, butter can be separated from milk by centrifugation. So this is also a correct statement. The incorrect statements were given by. So Anvita and Tushar gave the wrong statement. Means our correct answer will be option number B. Anvita and Tushar only. like our video please like share and subscribe to our channel thank you